going on guys welcome back to another episode of one team outdoorsman last time you saw us i was hammering fish on the berkeley pit boss today we are back at one of the og ponds uh we've had it in a couple videos pete's going to uh potentially be getting the camera on him today so we'll see how that goes Let's see if we can get some fish uh it's extreme heat wave conditions S slight wind um but yeah i'm pretty hopeful about today oh we we're recording Look, you never see that guy. <laughs> Here we go. A little fishing action and some pads. Uh, well, also, like I said, the last time we came here, though, there wasn't this much vegetation. No, nowhere near this much. I'm gonna give it a couple more casts in here because I just, I, this is too, too juicy. I wanted to possibly punch some of this, but it's so thick, I can't tell the depth. Water temp is 90 degrees. Yeah, I got 88.7. Well, this is probably gonna be the coolest point of the pond though, you know what I mean? Because it's been hiding in shade with the pads underneath it. Oh, it looks like it opens up a little bit though. All right, guys. We moved positions from that spot we were at. We're gonna come over here and fish this calmer area we see a oh, Connor is once again stuck in a tree but I'm gonna whip out the old SLX DC on the ducket insight we're gonna throw a jig around here maybe hit this little dock up if you see on the fish finder there was a, a hump that went four to eight feet now we're nine feet and you can see all the life on the bottom so I'm gonna try and Maybe think they're hiding out under these shady spots, but we'll see. Got a little bit of boat traffic to deal with too, so. Connor's throwing the Tokyo rig around. I guess he had some luck the other day with it, so. It's supposed to calm down too. I, I, I saw like on the wind. I know I say that every time, but. I'm throwing black and blue too. Like I'm not doing the green pumpkin. I thought the little bit of weeds just there. There we go. Oh, there's something in there. Did you see my rod tip? No. Oh, my head's itchy. Oh my God. Do you see that cast? It's all the way in there. I, uh, yeah. Come on. Pete. Good one. Good one. This is a good one, dude. I'm not even messing with you. Told you. Oh, dude. Yep. I may need your help. I'm not even messing with you, dude. This is probably a four pounder. Biggest one out of this pond, without a doubt. Oh! There you go. Yep. I may need your help. Uh, flip the bale and let out some line. That way you can flip it in. Biggest one out of this pond. Got it down. Oh, baby. Nice job. All right. There we go. Oh. <sighs> 
<laughs> Dude, we go all that time without catching a fish and that's the one you pull up. Did you get the whole thing on camera? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, was oh, dude. Oh. Dude, I knew the second I said the hook that was a good fish too. <sighs> oh, dude. Oh, GoPro, take a look at that, man. Oh. I was nervous to boat flip him. I thought I, I did. I I I loosened the drag. All right, let's see. There's no way. 2.4? That's a big two. 2.5. Yeah, dude. Oh, dude. This thing looks massive. Tell me not. This thing looks huge. That's what I'm saying. What I'm talking about, man. Dude, I was so sketched out to bolt flip him. I can't believe that was a 2.5. That that looked out like it was at least a three. Oh, when I saw it jump, I was like, oh yeah, that's a decent one. This reel is ass, dude. What do you want from? Me? Yeah, it's so bad. I would never ever wish this reel about my freaking worst enemy. I mean, I don't like bashing companies because I know 13 fishing makes it good. Like some, they make good high end stuff, and I like their baits. But this Origin, this just ain't it, sir. All right, so we moved to another spot. The wind kind of twisted me around, but we were just over there fishing them pads. Connor's back there fishing a little spillway that goes under an overpass, but. I'm just dragging across right now. All right guys, hope you enjoyed. Uh, this was Pete's first attempt using his own GoPro and it was definitely a success. Um, this isn't gonna be its own video. We're actually gonna, um, in a couple seconds, you'll see Sunday's um, fishing trip. Um, today's Friday, so you'll see that. Um, that's two days away from us, but it'll be a couple seconds for you guys. So, we'll see you then. All right guys, so I decided to go out and pick up a new reel for my flipping setup. As you know, I had the Origin uh, reel, which was on a combo that I had bought from a while back when we first started getting into bait casters. But today, I decided to go pick up the Shimano Corrado K, and that's going to go back on my Guggen Muscle 7.6 Heavy. Um, I just needed something that was all around better for flipping. I was having some issues with that. The drag was slipping, and a lot of times the spool would slip actually on the mechanism inside. Um, not bad mouthing. 13 fishing or anything, but I did not like that reel. I know they make some really good higher end stuff. I've actually used some of their higher end reels, but I just prefer the Shimano. All right, we are on the water once again, and it's hot. 85 degree water temp, about 90 degrees outside. Yeah, last time we were on the water, it was what, 90 something on the water temp. Yeah, it was like We're just gonna, are we doing the 1v1? Is that what's, that's what's going down here? Yeah, why not? All right, so we decided that we're gonna do a little friendly 1v1, no wager. Best three fish, we have bump boards, so we're gonna go by inches. So best three fish. What's the minimum gonna be? 12 inch minimum, three fish? Yep. Okay, so you guys are gonna see us with zero score at the end of this. Yeah, the air cooled down, I don't know, probably 15 degrees from earlier. It's the Dude, that rock is literally the size of a pickup truck. Yep. 
not even close to scoreable. Here we go, guys. Little, I don't know, eight incher. They're out deeper. All right, guys, so you guys have been seeing Pete's POV because I had my camera off the first couple minutes, but little baby bass, I can't score it because it's not even close to 12 inches, probably more like six or seven. Um, but yeah, first one in, skunks out of the boat. Dude, that looks like a storm rolling in. Oh, oh, got him. Yep. That one's better. Probably the best one of the day so far. It's not great, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> nope. All right, first number two. We're growing about an inch every time. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Not even looking close. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Dude, the weeds are bigger than he is. All right, guys. That's going to be the biggest fish of the day there. That's about an ounce and a half. It's fish. I know. That's what I'm saying. There we go. Hey, this one might be scoreful. <laughs> All right, so they seem like they're more, yeah. My battery just died. Come on. No, <laughs> of course not. Oh no. Oh. Oh, I think I got another one. This, this is a scoreable one. I'm not lying at all. <laughs> is it 12 inches? Yep. No fucking way. Yep. On the board. Oh, you're close. It's gonna be close. <laughs> it's close, dude. I don't know, dude. It's close. I don't know. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. <laughs> hey, 14, <laughs> 14. Yep, from the nose to the bottom, 14. You want a picture? I'll take proof. Yeah. All right, guys, that's gonna do it. Um, we're gonna call it a little early because the wind is just such a battle right now. Um, we caught a bunch of different fish. This is this is the second part of the video. Caught a bunch of different fish today and last time and in the last video. Um, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. We're gonna be cranking out a bunch of videos this week, so definitely stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. See you later. Holy wind, guys! Oh my god, it's like a hurricane. Hopefully, when we fish the next day or two, it's gonna be a lot better than this.